Well, good morning, everyone. It's always a good day to start off on a Saturday with our uh, lovely Miss Cleo and her three little ones. And uh, looks like she's having a little regurgitation problems. Here they come. Look at those three. <laughs> oh, I love the farm life. All right, we're going to let them go and uh, us around. And uh, it's a Saturday morning, and uh, we are uh, getting ready to head out. Uh, I have some uh, gig work that I will be uh, doing today uh, instead of uh, being around the farm. And uh, on those days when I'm unable to uh, spend the time, because we're heading, we try to head out pretty early. Uh, pardon the sun, but uh, I don't have a camera crew. I am the camera crew, uh, but. Uh, on these days when we're having to uh, head out early and be gone all day, uh, I try to um, supplement uh, the pigs. Uh, I, I'm not able to, to pluck dandies, dandelions and, and uh, pull uh, the, the plants we have growing uh, on our property. So I supplement them with some organic feed. And uh, the funny thing is, is they prefer the food that I give them. They prefer the dandelions, they prefer the pigweed, they prefer all of that. Uh, with that in mind, it got me to thinking, uh, my wife and I were talking yesterday uh, about, as we were driving around, uh, that uh, I could actually literally pull a very healthy, very nutritious, very good salad, mainly from the things that are growing wild in my yard, and I want to point that out to you today. First, I want to turn this around and, and look at something that's growing not so wild, but something that's easy to grow which is again a buckwheat uh, you know we are buckwheat farms and this is our mascot plant here this is the uh, buckwheat flower uh, great honey uh, bees uh, love the buckwheat flower uh, hope to draw some pollinators but the leaves themselves make a really nice salad uh, really good just below that I've got some wild uh, amaranth it's called pigweed growing here um, the segments of the pigweed the leaves the stems even the roots of the pigweed uh, very high in nutrition very uh, very uh, uh, good in protein and then I've got some um, I've got a volunteer uh, from some amaranth that I planted last year this re reseeding which is again is one of the uh, one of the uh, things with permaculture is allowing areas to reseed themselves uh, so those are just just a couple of them uh, I've also got some uh, wild carrots growing in here and uh, I'm gonna go to the front yard and I'll show you uh, the rest of what I have uh, so we moved around into the front yard, and of course I've got uh, dandelions uh, growing throughout the yard, which dandelion greens make a really good salad green. Um, also, we've got some parsley growing here. I've got some radishes, of course, that I planted, and, and, and then everything else that, that we planted as well. Uh, but also one of the things that, that most gardeners have in their garden, uh, even ornamental, even guys who just have the ornamental gardens, but are incredibly edible, are... Drum roll, please. Hosta. Hosta. Hosta is an incredibly uh, nutritious plant, easily grown, easily divided. Um, in fact, we are planning on creating an entire hosta bed uh, in the front of the home. Um, and again, that's nutrition for us, for the animals, if need be. Uh, see, that's, that's the question. Who decided and when was it decided and why was it decided? that we should uh, have to go to a box to buy food in a box when the abundance of nature provides all that we need. That's your Saturday salad. Oh, I forgot, I've got mint in the backyard too that would make a nice addition. Namaste.